lovely episode on how to colour rice. So we thought we'd show you some different ideas, uh, some simple ideas, on what you can actually do with your rice once it's dry. So as you, as you can see, we have some rice and some coloured pasta in this container. And in this container we also have some little frogs. So if your child has an interest in singing, you could do some singing while playing with the rice. You can have three little frogs sitting on a log. You could hide the toys in the rice and then encourage your child to maybe find them and count them. So as you can see, we've got three. So we could say one, two, three. We could also talk about the size. We've got big toys and little toys. So that's just something that you can do with your rice. Um, another idea is using something a little bit different that you might have in your pantry at home is some rolled oats. So this is just plain rolled oats, nothing special. But in here, we have hidden, we also have some ducks, so we can talk about the five little ducks. We have little duck cutouts and some numbers, so we can actually match how many ducks we've got. So if we only have two ducks, we could find in the, in the oats the number two. So we have two ducks. There are other numbers hidden in, in the, the oats that you can find, and we could label, match, we can put them in order. There are lots of different ways of doing that. But as I said, if you have toys, different things that your child is interested in, you can always add them to the, the textures that they're playing with. Another simple idea, Jodie, do you want to tell us about this story? Yes, so this one is um, coloured pasta, so similar to the rice, we've got coloured pasta here. And what we're trying to show here is just things, toys that you may have at home, or you might be able to write some numbers on a piece of paper and cut them out. Even photos. Or photos. Photos of members of the family. If, yeah. If you aren't able to see them at the moment, maybe you have them in there as, a, as another little yeah. sensory. And point. just using simple instruction, can you find... Daddy, can you find Grandma? Yes, that's another way of interacting. This one we've been thinking maybe we could do demonstrating how something is full. Emptying it out, people love feeling like sensory things on their hands, emptying it out, and what's empty? Demonstrating we've got a full cup and then an empty cup. We can talk about colours. So we've got a yellow cup, we've got a green bowl. We've got a little water so we can fill it. Fill up the green bowl. We're filling up the green bowl with our coloured pasta. So just a few ideas um, and simple things. Even if you can't tell your pasta or your rice, they still love playing with it. Um, and you can still use it for any of these ideas. Um, and another tip, if you have an old shower curtain or a plastic tablecloth at home, put that down underneath if you want to do it inside and that way it's a little bit easier to clean it up afterwards. Just a little tip from a mum who's tried it at home. So, um, oh, it's a great outdoors activity. Absolutely, outdoors is great as well. It makes it really easy to clean up. So hopefully that's a bit of help for you guys at home um, and yeah, if you've got any other questions, I'm sure that lovely teachers at Tumble West would be more than happy to answer.